Valor and I were just hanging out and we decided that we should look at some more closed loop transfer functions and we thought what about if we have you know not just our normal control transfer function and our plan transfer function but also some sort of transfer function for the sensor the feedback that happens so say for example we need to measure this this value y but in real life we have some sort of sensor that does that but when we measure something through a sensor we sometimes have some sort of effect in the measurement. So there's also a transfer function for this sensor measurement. And then that output of that would go into our comparator and compare it to our reference. So first we're going to look at this and we're going to derive the transfer function for it. So of course we start with writing our basic equation. We can start with y here and we'll say y of and I'm going to drop all the parentheses s, so just everything's in the um, Laplace transform. So y here is going to be equal to, well, go backwards. So from y here, it equals this gp times gc times this, right? This is the, also our error signal. But the error is equal to rs, r of s, minus... Oh, now we have this multiple, so minus h, and then finally times our, eight, our y again. So here's our basic function. All we need to do is expand here and then put it in our transfer function form. So we'll get y here, gp, gc, r, minus gp, gc, h, y. So we can move these y's over. We'll get, this is our y, multiply it here, 1 plus this, h, and that's, this is our, going to become our denominator, and then here we still have gp, gc, and then multiplied by r. And remember, r is our input in the closed loop function, and y is our output. So all we have to do now is for a transfer function, we're going to go with capital T again, y over r, of course, just equals gp, gc, over 1 plus gp, g, c, h. So this is our transfer function in this general form. And what we'll be looking at in the next series of videos is we're going to start looking at something called the root locus and really we'll be focusing on the denominator here and looking at how the poles and zeros of this expression, so our multiplication of these three things together, how the poles and zero of that affect the stability of our system and how our control can change the, the pole locations. So first we wanted to derive this so you have it and then we're going to start talking about things as we go forward.